Dimitri, sharing with you my technical analysis, sharing with you how I identify the patterns, how I spot the key levels, how I identify the zones of support, of resistance, of supply and demand. Many of you asked me how to set up the chart, how to apply the drawing tools properly, which drawing tools to apply, which colors to apply. And you know, it looks like many of you really want to know which is the basics of charting. So I decided to record for you the series of videos about charting. By the way, let me know in the comment section whether you like that idea or not. But I think it will be very useful for those who just started to apply trading view. By the way, for charting, we will apply strictly trading view. Not meta trader, not ninja trader, we will apply trading view. In my view, trading view just gives us the best toolbox for drawing. Yes, especially if you are a technical analyst. I guess trading view is just the, the best choice and it is not the advertisement. I use that for more than five years and I really love it. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me teach you how to properly set up your trading chart. In this video, I will show you how to, to, to set up your default trading chart. Yes, what to start with. So let's start. Right traders, once you create a new chart layout on TradingView, you will most likely get the chart like that, yes, and you can get the white chart or the black chart, it doesn't really matter. What matters right here is that the chart looks weird. There are a lot of elements right here that just naturally make me crazy. And in my view, it is very important to change the, the design, the look of this chart. So the first thing that we will start with are the grids. Yes, over here we have the horizontal grid, here we have the vertical grid, and in my view, these grids are very, very harmful for our trading. Why? Because being the technical traders, analyzing the market and trading the market with technical analysis, we rely on key levels, the levels of support and resistance. And most of the time, these are the horizontal levels. And the grids adds the distraction on our chart. Quite often, once you spot a key level, you will adjust that based on the grid, like right here. But in practice, our level is higher above the grid. But your eye just wants this adjustment. Yes, and for that reason, this grids can be very, 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 very harmful. So what we will do, the first thing that we will do right here, we will take away the grids from our chart. What we do, we right click on the chart and we click settings. Yes, in settings bar, we have the vertical grid lines and horizontal grid lines. Our task right here is simply reduce the opacity of them to zero. Yes, we reduce the opacity of them to zero. And with that, here we have the chart without the grids. And in my view, from a current perspective, it looks much better. The second thing that we will change on our chart is the background. Yes, and I know it is very subjective. I know that it depends on your taste, but we cannot deny the fact that the default black version of the chart on trading view is weird. Why? Because it is not really black. It is kind of the mix of gray and black. And if we right click on the chart and click settings and check the background, you can see that here, default version applies the gradient of, of different gray colors, yes? And our task right here is to make it solid, yes, to make it solid and moreover to make it black one. And you can see that changing the color, making it just black, yes, you can see how vivid the candles are right now. We are technical traders. We are looking for the price action patterns. We are looking for the candlestick pattern formations. And for that reason, the candles must be vivid. The candles must be bright. And changing the color to black one gives us the better opportunity to spot the patterns, to spot the candlestick pattern formations. Yes. So let's change the color like that. The third element that I don't like on the chart is the volumes. Yes, here on the lower boundary of our chart, we have the 
volume boxes yes and looking left right here you can see that actually the volumes are above the candlesticks and it definitely adds the distraction and the point is that i know that volumes are very important i know that volumes give give us very objective figures and many traders apply volumes for treating the market but at the same time it is phenomenally hard to apply volumes properly and if you are watching this video most likely you are a newbie trader you are just learning how to trade and for you it just adds the additional noise on the chart so what while you are learning while you are trying different things while you are testing different strategies in my view it is better to avoid to take away the volumes from your chart and we click on them and just press the delete button yes and with that our chart looks even even better lastly we will play with the candles as i told you to spot the candlestick pattern formations to to spot the price action patterns the candles must be vivid the candles must be bright. For that reason, we will change the color of our candles. Here we will double click on the candles and here we have the settings for our candles. The first thing that we will do, we will take away the borders. Yes, I don't know why we have them right here. I don't know why, but it they really doesn't affect the, the look of the candles right here. Then we will change the color of the body of the candle. The default colors on trading view in my view are quite bad but you can add your own colors yes you can play with the colors and you can add each color that you want and here i have my own green color yes this one and i also have my own red color yes so we will change that also we will do the same thing with the wax yes we will change the color of the wax and then press ok and with that, look what happens with our chart. Here we have so bright, so sweet candles, yes. And in my view, spotting the candlestick pattern formations, the price action patterns with such candles is, is you know, it's just much easier. I know how hard it is for the newbie trader to learn to recognize the patterns. Yes, to learn to recognize the the dodges, the engulfing candles, the pin bars, the inside bars. But with such candles, I guess they will be brighter. Yes, and, and that will help you to notice them easily. Last but not least, I know that many of you really hate the black color chart and many of you apply the white color chart instead. So here let's briefly change the background of the chart to white one. Yes, on the white one, the only thing that I will change, yes, is the color of the green candles. Yes, I would change that to such a color. Yes, you can see I have the dark green color. And with that, you can also see how, how nice our chart looks like. And by the way, let me know in the comment section, do you prefer the black one or the white one chart? In my view, the black one is better naturally because it is easier there to spot the details it is easier there to spot the minor tiny things in my view white color is very distracting but the black one just shows us the the hidden elements yes you know the devil is all, always in details and on black chart we can just spot more details but i just think so let me know what do you think Right traders, I hope that it was the valuable lesson for you. I hope that right now you know how to set up your chart properly. I hope that you agree with me that the default chart and trading view is weird. And what we did in this video, well, we just made our chart better. Yes, just five minutes and our chart looks much better. For more education, don't forget to check my premium educational group. There in, during live streams, I show my students how we analyze the market live. I run live Q&As with students so you can ask me questions and get the instant answer from me. It is very practical. The link in the description below. It is vasilytrader.com slash private group or you can text me in one of the social networks. I will give you more details. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next week.